he is. Come on now. The summer league champ, baby. All right, now, be honest. How does it feel? Man, I don't know, man. It's just summer league. What, like, just I feel like I'm just getting started right now. Oh, you definitely just heating up, though. Come on now. I am seeing lots of positive engagement on social. Oh, Let's yeah? hear a little mm -hmm. bit. MP won't admit it, but he loves that stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Admit it? Like, I mean, yes, I'm human, but, you know, I like compliments, too. Oh, especially <clears> when they're deserved. I tell you. Uh, imagine not wanting MP over Shep. Could never be me, fam. Uh, oh, I'm going to name my firstborn son after MP. Fast cap. Wow. Oh, that's cap. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ashley, you want to just uh, read it with feeling next time? <laughs> just a suggestion. Yo, yo. Thank you for the recap and all, but I was, you know, hoping that maybe we could, you know, look forward and talk about something that's possibly coming up, you know? Okay, yep. eyes on the prize, I that's love it. it. All right, Ashley, go. Uh, you have a meeting with Freddie Novak, okay. new head of brand and marketing. He wants to talk to you about some of the PR initiatives he's spearheading. Lots of data-driven stuff, how to leverage research into results. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I actually read an article about him in the pin down. He's oh. a very, very interesting hire. That's mm -hmm. right. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to put this on your radar, we got you a spot on Top Takes Daily. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah, we don't have a date set uh, just yet, but it should be sometime in the next two weeks, and it's going to be a great opportunity to take control of the post-draft narrative. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything else that we got? That's it for now. Mainly, we just want you to focus on ball, man. Psh, man, y'all taking care of everything. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, for real. You already know, this ain't our first rodeo, kid. Oh, well, it is Mila's first rodeo. Okay, technically it's your second. So oh, not that I managed different. the old MP since like eighth grade. Oh, That's like wait, wait. Did you 20 rodeos. Hold on, 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 hold on. We're not talking about MP here. Wait, at bro, all. Bro, come on, man. I mean, this whole agency is devoted to you right now. You can't be jealous, are you? Fam, you serious right now? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, man. That's scary. funny. <laughs> Look, go to your meeting with Freddie and then holler at me when you're done. All right, fam. Ricky? Ricky gone. Text Ricky, I'm canceling lunch. You feel good about all this? I feel great. Okay, good. I feel good. It's a long-term game, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just taking it step by step. That's it, that's all we could do right now. Pace ourselves. Let's do it. Okay. Getting top takes on the phone. All right. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data-obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for, they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not gonna take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so, what's the solution? Glad you asked. We identify key influencers in our biggest target demos, and we develop a strategy to win their affections. Wait, wait, so you're telling me my playing time is dependent on what? Whether Johnny TikTok thinks I'm based or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. When the bottom line's affected, the governors aren't happy. When the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Okay. Um, I just want to be a pillar in this community, man. So if we can find a way to make this, you know, win the city initiative be a part of that, I'm sold. But I also don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page, 100%. All right. Look, I've already talked with your whole team about this impressive group of people, by the way, and they're gonna take a lead on it, okay? But my door is always open. Freddie, man, 
I appreciate your transparency, man. Truly. Just doing my job. Believe me, it is an honor to work with someone as talented as you, MP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. My face cam was on that entire time. Well, you literally just watched me staring at that. Well, anyways, welcome back to this NBA 2K20. Wow, the frame rate is dying. NBA 2K23, my career. After all those cutscenes, we are finally making it to our first game. About damn time. I can't believe my face cam was on that entire time. I didn't know. Anyways, going up against Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, and the Atlanta Hawks. So let's enter the arena and see oh, and see what's going on as I ran right by it. I don't know if it's going to give me another cutscene or not. Alright, did not give me a cutscene. Meet Ricky in the tunnel for a tour of the arena. So this is sick. Not going to lie. Good touch, 2K. I have a feeling it might get slightly annoying. You know what this reminds me of? What game was it? I think it was SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. Where you could walk backstage before a match. I think I might, I'll put a screenshot or a clip on the screen. Um, but that is literally what this reminds me of. Which is pretty sick. Arena Tunnel. Um, I know he's going to give me a tour, but I want my own tour. Ah, what up, kid? What's going on, man? Yo, I appreciate you being here, but like I said, you ain't got to do this. What? This is... This is the in-person treatment that you hired me for. Look, just remember this day when Barry and Associates shows up, trying to see if you need a new agent, <laughs> all right? All right, yo, fair enough, man. <laughs> so where do we start, man? Let's, let's, let's go on this little tour. Well, are you ready, Sire? Don't do that. Cut the little butler act, man. Act normal, bro. All right, yeah, that didn't even feel that right. Was, yeah, it wasn't All right, well. but check it out, check it out. First up, we have the only runway in the world that can compete with Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> yeah, bro, that looks like a pretty normal hallway to yeah, me. Yeah, to the untrained eye, it's a normal hallway. But we both know that them pregame walks have made fashion icons out of Russell Westbrook, SGA, LeBron James. <laughs> I mean, the branding possibilities are endless, man. All right, I see you. Now, look, once you get some shine on the court, you know, getting your fashion bag, photographer's going to be all over you, bro. And the best part is, all you got to do is show up ready to work, look and fly. Come on, and I, and I can do that, can't I? Yeah, maybe with a little bit of help, you can. Sure, I get fly, hey, I get look, fly look, to It you. don't even matter. Right now, I just want you to focus on your game, right? Fashion can come later. All right, so check this out. Talk to me. Down this way, you got the press room. Now, anytime you got some post-game media availability, mm -hmm. this is where you're going to want to go. Okay. Now, Ashley will meet you tonight after the game to walk you over, you know, give you some more pointers, but mm -hmm. typically it's going to be on you to make sure you don't miss these opportunities. Sure. I mean, opening yourself up more for the press is just better for you. I mean, but you're a natural-born leader. You get that. Bro, I do this, man. I could do media in my sleep. <laughs> all right, you know well, this. <laughs> well, one more note on that. The media is allowed all through this hallway, so you might get stopped for press time just when you're walking around. And because I said that, you are under the microscope here, all right? Oh, you ain't gotta Act make... accordingly, that's all I'm saying. You ain't gotta make it sound so intense, man. I got this. All right. What else you got for me? All right, well, down here is also the arena manager's office. You mm -hmm. probably not gonna go that much, but you know, just so you know. And also there's your standard generic meeting room. Now, once again, you're probably not gonna use it much, but I mean, could come in handy if you need to have a private conversation. Right, right, away from the prying guys at the tabloids, right? Yes, look at you paying attention. I, I like that. a little that. bit, man. <laughs> and then down further a little bit this way, You've got the locker room. And looks like Coach Graves is waiting for you, actually. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. Now, I got to shake some hands before tonight's game, but uh, you go out there and have fun, man. man. Appreciate it, man. Again, man, it's always good seeing a familiar face in new settings. Man, don't even mention it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> have a great game, man. All right, man. Here nice and early. Love to see it. Just doing my job, Coach. Humble and hardworking. Both qualities you like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't. So it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. Hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Cool. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Okay. Yeah, you were very clear about that. Good. So, we got together and talked about it. 
and decided the best role for you to start the year is as a solid rotation player off the bench. We'll get you the minutes. It's up to you to make the most of them. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but I guess it's up to me to earn my way into the starting lineup. And you've got the potential to get there. But I don't want you focusing on that right now. Take it one day at a time, put in the work, and the results will follow. I've never been afraid of work, you know? It's just I expect more for myself than this in the long term. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, what are you doing? exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. All right, I think we're finally able to play the game. Um, the locker, pretty self-explanatory. I can go in there, change it to my street clothes if necessary. I can edit my uh, gear. But after God knows how long, we'll finally get into the game. It's probably going to be shorter because of how long this, all these cutscenes took. You guys are going the wrong way. The, the arena the arena's the other way. Don't give me another cutscene. Alright, thank you. I actually get to walk out myself. What's good? What's good? What's poppin'? Alright, and obviously I'm going to be coming off the bench. For some reason, 2K does not have DeJounte Murray playing the shooting guard. So, Trey Young comes off the bench. They start DeJounte over Trey Young. Yep, yep, welcome to 2K. So, yes, uh, Trey Young is a six-man. And, yep, we're going to be guarding Trey Young to start off, which, I mean, I'll take it. Trey Young, 28 points per game, and now he's the sixth man because 2K does not know how to control their game. Let's get it going. I'm sure the camera's not going to be a 2K camera either, right? Yeah, no. I'll keep it on my player default. All right. Let's get it going. We're in Atlanta. Jabari Smith hits it. We're up by five. Four minutes left in the first quarter. My NBA debut. Guarding Trey F. and Young. Not the greatest to start off. As John Collins is left open for three. He's going to miss. I'm not going to get the rebound. Jalen Green grabs it. Jalen Green. I got, come on, I got Trey Young on me, bro. Give me something. Thank you. Thank you. Isolation. I am an 85 overall. So let's see if I can score. And spin move. And it's a layup. My first points of the league. Oh, I'm on the fast break. I'm down court. Eric Gordon throwing up to me. I'm going to throw it down. Immediately doing the silencer celebration. Up by seven. I have four points. I should probably start getting my assist up, though. That'd be nice. And what I realized is when I started this game, it did not give me an option. Wow, terrible shot by uh, Bogdan. It did not give me an option to change my jersey. That kind of sucks. Uh, one for five, Bogdanovich. Barry Smith. Oh, I need to. I need to be worried about that. Probably start throwing lobs, because I'm gonna commit a lot of turnovers. As Okongu is gonna dunk on Sengun. All right, I got a Kongu, a Kongu, a Kongu on me. Let's see if I can get by him. I'm struggling a bit, and I'm gonna get right by him and throw it down. Doing the same. Okay, that's gonna get annoying how you do the same exact uh, celebration. I wish they gave you more options, but so far. We're playing great in our NBA debut. Trey Young, I am not letting you score. And I guarantee you, since they have Frank Kaminsky on the team since one. Uh, I guarantee you, since I said that, he's going to score as Aaron Holiday from downtown. Kaminsky gets the offensive rebound, but end of the first quarter. I forgot to mention, I am on all star difficulty to start. Um, so I am not going to jump up to Superstar um, Hall of Fame yet because I obviously haven't played my career in four years. So give me a break. All right, I got subbed out, up by seven. Let's see what the starters can do. Uh, Trey Young's on the court. We're up by 13. I'll definitely take that. 420 left in the second quarter. Um, who's out here that Javari Smith's out here? Javari Smith and Jalen Green's out here. All right, I'm going to try and dish it off to Javari Smith because I need one more pick and roll assist to get to activate my uh, leadership. There it is, the leadership goal, and I got it. Score or assist four times out of the pick and roll. And I get boost to something. I actually forgot what it was. I think it was a three-point mid-range scoring. I get boost um, too. 
So six points, four assists. Not bad for my NBA debut so far. Bogdanovich going to give it up to Trey Young. That's a bucket. Yeah, that's a bucket. That should not be a defensive breakdown. It was a screen. What do you expect me to do? I'll show you a defensive breakdown. I'll show you a defensive break. Jabari Smith, you kind of ruined that there. Not going to lie. But I'll show you a defensive breakdown. This dude can't play defense. And none. Uh, Trey Young. Post fade. Terrible release. Kind of expected that. But Jabari Smith Jr. cleaning up the glass. And throws it down. All right, I'm on the bench to start off the half, obviously. Um, DeJounte Murray's actually going to be guarding me. That that hurts. This man averaged 21, 9, and 8. Man, that is actually insane. Sure, it was for the Spurs, but those are insane numbers. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be fun to be guarded by DeJounte Murray, out of all people. Well, probably one of the best defenders in the league. Uh, sec I oh, what a steal by Josh Christopher. Oh, uh, and we lost Eric Gordon. Can you give me some space? No, he's not going to give me space. Very different from being guarded by Trey Young. I can tell you that much. Sangoon. Throw it down. Oh, my God. They Oh, he's got four fouls. They sold me out of an assist. Give it up to me for my first three of my career. I knock it down. We are now on a 10 to nothing run. One for four from downtown. I finally knock one down. And they have to call a timeout. 16 points. Six assists and I just got another playmaking badge I don't want to take any stupid shots in the corner Josh Christopher from downtown that's my seventh assist and we're up by 19 all right benched for the start of the fourth we're up by 18 um that should run a Trey Young and DeJounte something they never do they should be doing at the start um 18 seconds left I'm in in garbage time to end the game 22 points eight assists I'll hold the ball out I guess Oh, the, this arena is empty, bro. Oh, my goodness. Good touch, 2K. Good touch. I know the arenas are usually empty in the old 2Ks, but th this is a really good touch. I mean, this looks legit just barren. Um, I got blocked there, all right? Well, I tried to be disrespectful, but we are going to win by 12 in our NBA debut. Near double-double, but I did not play the fourth quarter. Uh, 22 points, 8 assists. Terrible shooting from 3. I'm hoping to fix that. But not a bad game at all. Hey, I'm here. You need in the press room. Can I get a... Hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we could just skip the small talk then. Yeah, follow me. I'm needed I'm in the press room, I'm gonna give you a rundown room, man. of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're gonna want to ask questions about how you played, so if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna want to call Whoa. on John Luck. If you feel like you underperformed at all, you're gonna want to call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're it. feeling confident, you're gonna want to call on Nate White, the Nate man White. fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's gonna be all over that. Also, he's gonna have a couple Shep questions to throw your way, so if you wanna get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's, so if you wanna brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. So, go to John Luck. Okay. I forgot who the other guy was that's gonna talk about the All drama. Right. Um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Like. Is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah, yeah. What you say in that room is going to go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no, but no. there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside. Go. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. Just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I, you're I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, 
but thank you. It's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. All right, let's never talk about you that really again. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're going to miss deadlines. I so. got you. I'm in there. Come on. Let's go. Hearing. So I forgot the other dude's name. I wasn't even paying attention. I was in La La Land. I'm ready to go to bed. There was way too many cutscenes. Hey, everyone. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I never changed. I forgot you have an option to change. Uh, Nate White. Uh, John Luck, what's good? Hey, hold on. How about we go with my homie over here? Imagine I picked the wrong guy. Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? All right, I didn't pick the wrong guy. Picking up the W. Definitely. Just picking up that W, man. I could have easily scored 100 tonight. Let's be real. But uh, if we would have gotten that loss, that wouldn't have mattered. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but I think you'd still be pretty happy with a hundred, no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess you got me there. But you know what I mean, John. Stop playing with me. You know what I mean. You know, man, I, I played this game to win. So if it's, it's great to have this feeling my first time on the NBA floor. Totally, and it looked like you were having a great time out there, too, oh, so I congrats was. again, MP. <laughs> I know you were looking forward to this all off season. Uh, I guess we're going to Nate White. All right. I think we got time for a couple more questions. Uh, hey, you over here. Let's talk about a name. Shep Owens. Shep you know, Owens. Shep Owens uh, has cast a massive shadow over the start of your career. What do you need to do to um, convince the fans that it wasn't a mistake to draft you over Shep? Man, I can't gonna, think about it like the that. General. I mean, my Night job is to a role that I've been given to the best of my abilities. And if I do that, I think I can help this team win games. And if we win games, fans can be more than happy. Okay, well, let me play the devil's advocate Here on this go. one. Well, do you think the fans will be happy if you remain a bench player for the rest of your career? Well, like I said, if we win, I don't see how they can be upset. I mean, obviously, every player in this league wants to start, and I'm no different, but winning comes first, man. And as long as we win more games than we lose, I'm sure they're gonna be more than happy, you know? These fans are smart, man, and they recognize that it takes an entire team to win, not just one great player. You know, a great starting lineup with zero depth is gonna have a hard time making a championship push. And that's our goal here, compete for championships. That's it. Talk you talk, Gerald. Talk okay, you talk. It. All right, thanks guys. You shut that guy up. All right, assuming there's no more cutscenes, that's going to be it for me. GG.